Last week we were talking about Mardi Gras, and this week our focus shifts to St. Patrick's Day. Can you believe it? Chet Porsche is here with some ideas for us. And of course, St. Patrick's Day is huge in this city. But, you know, I'm a little tired. You're saying <laughs> you're, you're kind of off. So what do you think? You think, folks, what do you think is the easiest way for us to get geared up for St. Patrick's Day? Well, I actually think, you know, this city is always full of, like, holidays. Yeah. And we're always doing something. Uh -huh. So people are kind of used to, you know, bouncing from one thing to the next. So it That's was, true. That's what Kim Vaughn said. Yeah, so it was Mardi Gras, you know, the parades. Now when you think it's over another weekend of nothing but parades. But do you know why we have St. Patrick's Day, Dawn? Something to do with the guy in Ireland and the snakes. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely right. But mostly, but mostly everybody wants to be Irish. I wanted to be Irish as a kid. My cousins were Irish because I wanted to go and drink, you know, drink the beer with them. The green beer. The green beer, yes. yes. I, I, wanted, couldn't, I couldn't I, have been Irish, yes. but you could have been Irish. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to talk about how you yeah, can decorate. I'm not Irish. <laughs> Neither am I. We're going to talk about how you can decorate some of your house for Mardi, for um, St. Patrick's Day. I'm still in the Mardi Gras mode. But yeah. also, you know, what to wear doing St. Patrick's yes. Day. Yes. So, you know. That's uh, what everybody needs. It's to, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, I talk a lot about door decorating. But it's one of really one of the Look simplest. It's one of the simplest things that you can do is to get your house or get whatever yeah. you're getting ready for that holiday. You know, this is really a design segment. But anytime we have something to do with the holiday, I could make this. I was gonna say, you know, I talk yeah. a lot about DIY. This is definitely a DIY. You know, it's basically just a cardboard, or you can use foam core. Yeah. Cut out, you know, the Irish hat. Use your boa green. from Mardi Gras. Exactly. Recycle and reuse yeah. your boa from Mardi Gras. This is a great door decoration, but you can use it inside as well. You know, mm -hmm. it could be a table arrangement. This is something that I thought was really clever. Now, we somebody, actually, you bought this, though. Somebody made this. Yes, somebody, okay. but you, you can, can do it yourself. Yeah. This is from a company called MyDap, and I really love these things. We talked about them once before, but I thought they'd be appropriate for, you know, the St. Patrick's Day parade. Uh -huh. You know, it's basically just a tear-away cocktail napkin. Oh. You know, it's just really simple, really easy. You know, it's... Why is it on a roll like that? Because that's the way it comes. It's really simple, you know, and it's just tear away. It's and, these, and you can wash these? You can. You can this use them up to awesome. six times. This, I love this. I really do. Because these are, you know, you hand these to your guests, and if they, hopefully they don't throw them out. Otherwise, I'm going to be digging through garbage. Exactly. <laughs> but then you can wash them and reuse them. But if you Next do, if they do throw them out, you don't feel bad because they are disposable. Yeah. You know, so I love that idea. You know, T-shirts are really great. Um, this is from a place called Storyville on Magazine Street. I love these t-shirts, you know, Ginger Pride, and it's a unisex t-shirt, so you can wear it all year. It doesn't have to just be worn for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. You know, the Fleur de Lis, which is Everybody has to go out and buy clothing for St. Patty's Day because green is not the most flattering color. I think guys like green, but I'm girls... I'm green today. Well, no, <laughs> on guys. On guys. Guys seem to have green, but girls don't really have green. I don't know. Maybe I'm speaking about myself. I don't know. This is another really great thing from the occasional wife, which I thought was really great. You know, I love that story. Yeah, don't you love that store? Yeah. This is a um, recycled old piece of pottery that they remade. And what they did is, you know, what they do at the St. Patrick's Day Parade is they throw cabbages. So this is a cabbage teapot and a creamer, which, you know, I think it's great for St. Patrick's Day, but this is something that you can probably use right. year round. Yeah. And you know, the reason why I talk so much about make sure that we're keeping it local, because we actually have to help to stimulate the local economy. Of course. So we want to make sure that we're shopping local, giving people business that are local to keep those businesses open, because it all benefits all of us. Now, I know this is a very innovative arrangement here. Just use vegetables. Absolutely. Use organic things. Yeah. You know, so this is really, and you can use this as a centerpiece on your table, mm -hmm. and then you can cook them later. And you these know, are, what are these? These are lentils, yes, that's which it. is green. You know, you can use them by itself. Just I had to use a small thing here, but just imagine a large bowl with these lentils in them that could be by themselves, but also you could put a plant in it or something. Or just, a candle, maybe? Or a candle. I was going to do that, actually. <laughs> Very, I taught you something. <laughs> Very organic, you know, very innovative. I think these are really great, you know, St. Patrick's Day gifts ideas, but you can also use it all year round. Yeah, it, uh, it's fabulous. And you know what I love about this, Chet? Always, it's cheap. <laughs> Veggies are cheap. Lentils are cheap. Loving it. Love the do, your, do it yourself. Thank you so much. And oh, if you want welcome. more ideas of on uh, for from Chet Parshow on what to do for St. Patrick's Day, you can go to our website on Chet Parshow Designs at fox8live.com and get what.